Well, this one kind of took me by surprise a little bit. Um, I haven't read the whole thing. I've only read the title. And so um, I have no idea what to say about it so far. So let's just hop right into it. Ultra rare deep diving whale dies on New England beach with possible case of bird flu. A necropsy revealed that the animal may have been infected with avian avian and influ, influenza, uh, which would be a big deal if it is confirmed by further testing, scientists say. The whale was live when rescuers arrived at the scene, but died a few hours later. Man, I'm, I don't even know what kind of whale that is. What the, What is that? A mysterious deep diving whale has died after a highly, uh, highly unusual uh, stranding in Gloucester, 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 Massachusetts. And it may have been infected with bird flu, scientists say. The animal was still breathing when a response crew arrived at the scene of Wingarshik Beach on May 18th. The team had never seen anything like it before. I'm sorry, what is it with New England and these crazy names? Like, that sounds like something that should be in Europe. I mean, they're old, so maybe that's why. You know, they, a lot of Europeans settled in that area, so... Maybe that's why it's named like that, but you know what? Who am I to say? Half of our cities are named after Indian stuff, which is fine. They just have really long, complicated names, and I know how to say them, so I'm sure the massholes know how to say it too. No offense. <laughs> it was alive when, um, when it initially stranded. It was noted to be somewhat lethargic, but still thrashing occasionally, said Brian Urisitz, a member of the Seacoast Science Center's Marine Mammal Rescue Team. The long beak creature looked like a mix between a whale and a dolphin, Eurasis told New Hampshire Public Radio. Um, experts identified the 13.8 foot long, 4.2 meter. See, look at that. I'm adding the meter part in because mm, people from across the ponds were asking that um, because they didn't know what feet meant. I don't know the conversion. So it's I know it's roughly three feet per meter, roughly. So I know like, you know, seven meters would be like 21 feet. Anyway, um, animal or the animal is a juvenile female snower beast beak whale, one of the deepest diving animals in the ocean, Urisit said. Really? I've never even heard of these guys. I didn't even know they existed. Experts identified the enigmatic beached whale as a juvenile female sour beast beaked whale. Oh, I thought there would be more to it. Um, when the tide began to recede, the team decided not to move the whale back in the water due to concerns that it would cause whale additional harm and distress. The animal was also far from its preferred habitat, which it may have struggled to get back to. Snow bees beaked whales spend most of their time um, off of the continental shelf in the North Atlantic, Urisit said. You would never expect to see these things near shore, let alone a few feet of water. Is this the same type of whale swimming? It looks like it. Yeah, it's kind of awkward looking. I mean, yeah, it literally looks like a dolphin. It swims like a dolphin. But it's just... It's like... It's like you grab the dolphin's face, like right here, grab the dolphin's face and goes whoop, stretched it out, like in the part of the body, like the front half of the body came with the dolphin. The whale died a few hours later under a stranding agreement with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. The SSC team called scientists at the University of New Hampshire to the scene for full animal autopsy, known as a necropsy. The result indicated that the beaked whale had a viral infection that caused its brain to become inflamed and swollen. The degree of inflammation explains the death of this animal, as well as why it might have been disoriented and strayed into shallow waters, said Ignasor Sidor. A senior veterinarian pathologist at the New Hampshire Veterinary Diagnostic Laboratory and lead veterinary pathologist on the necropsy. Scientists are still testing the animal's cerebral tissue to determine which virus caused the infection, but avian influenza is a top consideration, Sidor told Live Science in 
in an email. Only a small number of cetaceans have been diagnosed with avian influenza or bird flu. We've <laughs> been fighting that the whole time. So it'll be a big deal, at least in the marine mammal world, if it doesn't turn out to be influenza, she added. The whale's body was otherwise in good condition and showed no signs of injury or trauma. It is highly unusual for a sour bee's beaked whale to become stranded. Uh, the recent beach w uh, beaching was given scientists a rare chance to study the enigmatic species whose lifespan remains a mystery. Although the loss of the animal uh, like this is unfortunate, we don't often get the opportunity to examine the fresh specimen, Sidor said. Sour bees beaked whales can grow up to 21 feet long and weigh 2,900 pounds or 1,300 kilograms. According to NOAA Fisheries, the range extends from cold deep waters in the Norwegian Sea to the northeastern coast of Canada and south to the Canary Islands. To feed, these whales dive to depths of around 4,900 feet or 1,500 meters and can spend half an hour below the surface. Closely related species can dive even longer, such as Cuvier's beaked whale. Wow. Okay. So, a whale gets bird flu. How and how does that make sense? I don't know. I'm not a scientist that determines that. I know that there's been a huge um, uptick in bird flu cases over the past year in like Brazil. Like down there, There's um, that's one of the reasons why eggs and chicken has cost so much recently. It's because they've had to cull like half of their chickens or whatever because of the bird flu outbreak and they don't want it to come up here and they, they they just don't want it to spread so there is a big problem with with bird flu but how would a whale get bird flu explain that to me Ex explain how does a whale that lives at the bottom of the ocean to get food and is lives in the north atlantic so far away from where this happened how does a whale get bird flu does it eat a bird that on the surface that's infected? Does a bird poop in its blowhole? Like, how does a an animal like this that I've never even heard of? I'm not saying that they can't run into a bird. But isn't that how they get it? Is, like, from a bird? Like, they have... Don't you get flus from, like, breathing in, you know, the, the, the virus? Like, isn't that how it's, like, breathing in? Or maybe it's eating. I don't know, but you live in salt water. Wouldn't that kind of, like, neutralize a virus like that? Somebody who knows more than I do needs to comment down below. Because this, to me, doesn't make really too terribly much sense. Not saying it's not possible, but, like, is there a method that bird flu passes from a bird... Because, like, very few animals get bird flu besides birds. That's what's called bird flu. Swine flu is mostly through pigs. It passes on through other things. And when that happens, it's a really big deal. But it's usually through something that, like, they come in a lot of contact with. Like, bats and... Bats and people. I'm just going to say people. Or, I should say... Um... A certain laboratory in Wuhan. Um, I'm not going to go any farther into that. But uh, yeah, th this stuff, it's like a really big deal when they cross species. And so the fact that the cross species happens in a whale, a fucking whale, how does that make any sense? It's still, I'm still trying to wrap my mind around how that was, th they didn't even say that that was really what happens. Um, which we may struggle to get back to. Let's see, where does it say? Um, it may have been infected with bird flu, scientists say. What may have been? How do you how do you make this? Oh, with possible case of bird flu. It just may have been infected. How do so that immediately people are going to look at this article and say, oh, a whale was infected with bird flu, which is what I thought. 
and then you read it and it says possible and it takes like three times for they say may have been for me to be like oh it may have been oh, gosh <laughs> god i don't understand this at all i don't if someone can enlighten me on this please do because this doesn't make any sense to me at all how does a whale get bird flu and then the people make an article about it when they keep on saying it may have so they don't even know for sure but they say they put it out there as if it's true i don't know let me know what you think down below like comment subscribe all that awesome stuff of course um if you like this content make sure to share it with your friends um if you're not subscribed if you're watching this it's because you like my content please subscribe if you're not that would be great i'd appreciate it and uh yeah if you want to support me more go check out my patreon if you want to be in the discord check out my patreon there's a link to the discord right there yeah anyway i'll see you in the next one stay wild